Hey guys, so this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to map MIDI channels to our snapshot keys right here. I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. So we have a user template right here, just hit new. For me, I think it's the easiest way to just name memory one and you can create up to 10. So memory one, memory two, memory three. What we're going to do is hit snapshot key number one, change the mode to keyboard memory. I've already done this. And then respectively, we have snapshot key number one. We're gonna type one right here. And then so on and so forth. Two, three, four, five. You can go all the way to 10, but I haven't done that for the sake of brevity. So what we're gonna do now, create a new template memory number two and we're going to do the same thing keyboard memory one two alright and we're going to go to project and here is the mini channel that the keys are going to be outputted to. So we're going to change that to 2 because we're in memory 2. And we're going to save. We're going to hit new and do it all over again. So we have 10 available memories to choose from and to assign to our snapshot keys. There are 16 different MIDI channels, so there are some limitations there. You, can't, you can only map the uh, keyboard memory command to the snapshot keys. You can't map them to the pads. You can't, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So limited to 10, but I'm sure if you can work your way through a DAW, then you could find a solution. I don't know why you would, I mean, but anyway. So what we're gonna do is gonna project, change memory three's MIDI channels to three, hit save. So for memory one, we're gonna hit memory one, memory one, store. And it's not gonna work because Ableton is open, let me close that. Memory one, memory one, store. Memory two, memory two, store. And if you did it 10 times, then you'd do this for all of them. All right, so we should be good to go. Everything looks in working order. So what we're gonna do is reopen Ableton. You're most likely going to have to restart your keyboard. Let's see if these snapshots work like we intend them to. Alright, so hit snapshot key number one. Let me close out of this. All right. So it for some reason the first couple tries it always it freezes for some reason. So click through your through some of the. Uh, snapshot keys and eventually I think it'll it will catch on I'm not sure why that is so we hit snapshot key number one and you see that the MIDI is being transported through channel one you hit two channel two and so on and so forth so 
that is it. I hope you liked the tutorial. Subscribe. Thank you.